Glogster. Uh, Glogster is a really cool tool to use with kids. Uh, it's an online, interactive, multimedia poster. Before we get started, I do want to tell you that there are two versions of Glogster. There's a regular Glogster.com, and then there's the EDU version. If you're using it with students, I would definitely suggest EDU version. It's basically a filtered and cleaned up version of the regular Glogster. All right, uh, before we get started, I, I do want to show you um, that there are two different versions of Glockster. There's the premium and the basic. I'm going to click here and kind of show you some of the rundown of what the differences are. First of all, the premium, of course, you have to pay. Um, you can choose an option where you can buy a license for a year. You can do a school license for all the students in your school. Um, I've tried that before, and it is nice. Um, and let me go ahead and kind of give you a rundown of what some of the main differences are. All right, with the basic version, the really big difference is you can only have 100 accounts uh, for students versus the premium, you can have the 200. Um, and this is also going to change. I think in the near future, they're going to go from 100 down to 50. So that means you only have 50 student accounts per username. Of course, you can create other usernames if you need to and have 50 for each. Um, that's kind of a workaround. Um, but that is something to consider. Another thing that I want to point out that is a big difference for me is this one, just edit nicknames for students. In the basic version, you have to keep the nicknames that they give you. And the nicknames really are kind of a jumbled up mess, just a bunch of letters and numbers. And you'll see um, in the next video what that looks like. So it would be nice to have that ability to change the nicknames. The rest of these differences are basically perks. Um, they don't really impact the experience for students too much. Um, but they are perks. So that's something to consider. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and show you how to get started on the basic version, which is the free version. I'm just going to click here, start with basic. It takes you to a registration page. Um, now one thing, whenever you're getting on this registration page, um, of course you go ahead and put in your username, put in your password. You need a valid email address so that they can send you updates and all that stuff. Alright, they do ask for your birthday. It's up to you whether or not you want to put the correct birthday or not. I'll put April 1st, Bicentennial Baby, 1976. Uh, the next part here is interesting. They, uh, now that it's the EDU version, they are now starting to get pretty specific with exactly what school you're from. So they ask for your country, they ask for your state, they ask for your city. I'm in Concord, North Carolina. And they even go from there down to your district, which would be the Barris County Schools. For me, and my school, which is J.N. Freeze Middle School. Go Noble Knights. Alright, now the next part is the code. Of course, this is often the most difficult part. And agree to the terms of use. Go ahead and click sign up. All right. So what that does is it gets you right in here. It takes you straight to your dashboard. This is where you're going to be whenever you log in in the future. It's going to bring you right to your dashboard. And you'll see the very first thing that you come in your dashboard is this create new blog. Um, and also it's going to show us how to create some students. Uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and show you that real quick. Um, you come down here where it says students, click on add new students. It's going to ask you how many accounts you want. I would go ahead and get the maximum number in there. Um, and you can add accounts. Um, this download file, um, we're going to get to that if, if you watch the Beyond the Basics video. Um, I'll show you how to do that part. But for now, we're going to go with this add account does take a couple seconds to do that and as we wait for that I'll just tell you that in the next two videos in the basics we're going to talk about how to create a blog how to moderate comments and then beyond the basics we'll kind of get into the nuts and bolts of some of the more advanced stuff that Glockster could do so um, thanks for watching and uh, let's get started mm -hmm.